back to Expresso here on SABC3, your feel-good breakfast show. Well, it is back to school for students all over the country. And as they head off to school to tackle their new year, we tackle the debate about uniforms. This morning, we're chatting to uh, schools that enforce uniforms and find out why they believe they're so important. Now, we invited the headmaster of Westerford High School, Mr. Rob LaRue, as well as head girl and head boy, Stuart Anatia, who we will be speaking to a little bit later. Good morning, Mr. LaRue. How are you? Morning, Leanne. And very well, thanks. Very I, good to be here so early in the morning. I know. I feel a nudging to say good morning, Mr. Lerner. Does that still happen? <laughs> we're in high school. That doesn't happen in high school. Okay. Well, this morning we're talking about all things uniforms. And, of course, you're a headmaster. I would like to know from you, what does your school uniform represent? Well, it's west of it high school, so we're at the foot of, of Devil's Peak. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just think it is such a magic part of the country. And yes. our badge has this Devil's Peak in it. It has this, okay. the, the sun in it and the mm -hmm. chestnut trees of that area. Yeah. So we're very proud of where we are and we like to reflect it in our uniform. Wonderful stuff. Now, talking about the badge and in terms of, I know a lot of times we wear school uniforms and we're not necessarily sure of what that badge represents. Do you have a specific motto behind yours? Well, our motto of the school is Nil Nisi Optimum, which okay. stands for, for anything but the best. And that's mm -hmm. what we want from our children. We want the best from every in individual in the school. Okay. Now, Katlejo and I were talking a bit uh, at the beginning of the show, and we, it's a contentious thing. Some people love them, some people don't like them at all. What's your take on school uniforms, and are they essential to school life? It's an absolutely essential part of, of, of schooling, and the, the main thing is that it gives the children identity. Yeah. It uh, teaches them to be smart, mm -hmm. to look after their, their personal um, appearance, their personal hygiene, and it also assists greatly with the discipline of the school. True, true. And also gives a sense of pride as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. You know, belonging to a specific school. But you were telling me a story a little earlier on about um, starting a new school as well. Well, just an indication of what children feel about, about uniform. West of it started Claremont High School two years yeah. ago. And interesting, when we were enrolling the children for the school, one of the things we asked them was, it's a new school, uh, should we worry about the traditions of uniform? Shouldn't we go for golf shirts or yeah. just ordinary casual clothing? And these were grade sevens that we're interviewing for yeah. grade eight in the following year. And they were absolutely categorical about the fact that they wanted a uniform. Wow, that is fantastic. Most of them were, were from previously disadvantaged areas. Yeah, yeah. And it was the identity they were looking for. They're being able to be proud of a particular item of clothing. Wow. And then interesting also, the boys were adamant that they had to have a tie. Wow. And uh, we, we spoke about the costs of a blazer. Mm. And once again, the girls and boys were adamant that they wanted the blazers. So it was from the children. It was from the children. Well, we have the head boy and the head girl of Westerford High School. Up first is Stuart. Good morning, Stuart. Give us a look. Uh, give us a 360 of your school uniform, of course, looking very dashing and very handsome in his school uniform there. And next up, we have Atia, who is the head girl of Westerford High School as well, looking very nice in a tunic dress there and her school blazer. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good, thanks. Fine, very good, thank you. Stuart. I heard from Mr. LaRue um, that the new school absolutely categor categorically wanted school uniforms. How do you feel about your school uniform? Um, no, I'm, I'm pro our uniform. Mm -hmm. um, I can't think of much negative. If you think sensibly, um, I mean, everyone wants to be comfortable. Yes. and um, Well, we do, we do have an informal uniform that's yep. more comfortable. Okay. And then the matrix wear a shirt and tie. Mm -hmm. And that's like a privilege. Um, and I think as you get to matric, it kind of does become a privilege and you don't really think, um, oh no, I have to put on this shirt and tie, quite proud of it. Yeah. Um, and I think it does unify the school and it's, people can be identified by it and yeah. you see someone in the street and oh, they go to our school and uh, yeah. It's so if you had the option to have a different dress code, you might not take it? Um, well, I mean, a service day <laughs> once in a while once is a fine, while but, is fine, but yeah, I'm happy with wearing it. Awesome. And Atia, what is your school uniform mean to you? Well, I'm proud to be a Westerfordian and proud to be recognized as one. And it's so much easier to slip on in the morning. And yeah. I think it's better for everyone at school because we all look the same. So there's no judging and mm. you don't go to school for a fashion parade. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. You don't go to school for a fashion parade, but it's, it, it does help to look nice in it though, right? Yeah. As a girl. 
Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, guys, for being with us. We will continue the school uniform debate, but you look absolutely amazing in your school uniforms. And one thing that I am um, so, you know, I, I stick by the fact that it does create and invoke a sense of pride, belonging to a specific school. That is our look. Those are our people. So um, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank well, you. you can give us a call. Um, we want to know from you, how do you feel about your school uniform? You might not be pro about it. It's okay. We want to hear your point of view. Give us a call on 083. 9133728 and we might be talking to you a little bit later on the show. But it is time to find out the buzz on the buzz and Ewan and Grant have all the details.